what's up guys welcome back to another video today is motivational monday you know the one thing i can say about motivational monday is that i'm always motivated like i'm motivated to tell other people quotes about what and how mondays can go or about anything and i feel like other people can relate why because it's just like we live in a world where so much stuff goes on that we um that you know that we just have to to learn to go through these things so today's quote for motivation monday it's not an easy journey to get to a place where you forgive people but it is such a powerful place because it frees you Tyler Perry couldn't have created or said anything better. Why do I say that? I get that a lot. I'm not one to um, forgive someone. As I have grown up all of my life, I have been one to um, hold a grudge. Um, and I know that that's not, I know that that's not like a godly thing to do or a Christianly thing to do. But I feel that the things that I've endured uh, growing up until now, I hold that grudge because of the things that I've been through. Not because I want to and not because I have to. It's because of just what I've been through. Um, and, you know, just it's just that. You know, speak, when we speak of forgiveness, um, you know, it, it is hard for me. It is not an easy journey. Um, the, the man who uh, was supposed to be there as a father, as a dad, um, and the man that was, you know, supposed to welcome a, a baby girl into this world, and, you know, his first daughter, only child at the time, um, and, you know, instead of being there, I think he gave in the towel and decided not to because another man who shouldn't have had to but wanted to decided to step in and take care of me with my mom. To this day, 27 years later, um, there's still no relationship, there's still no communication. Um, you know, I grew up all of my life with this man telling me lies. Oh, we're going to go to King's Dominion. We're going to go to uh, Bush Gardens. Um, and then it was basically, you know, using me just to, I don't know how to say it. Um, the last time I heard from him was last, sometime last year when he decided to ask me if I wanted to go to Azteca to get some lunch and then go shopping for my twin sister's birthday. Guys, I haven't said this yet, but I don't know my twin sisters. They are the age of my daughter and she is almost six years old. So I still haven't met them. Um, my baby brother is the age of my son. And I still haven't met him but one time. So I know nothing about these people. Um, you know, it's nothing against my siblings. It's just I, I have to take that up with the person who's bringing it to my attention. So when you think of it, no, it's not an easy journey to get to a place where you forgive people. I have forgiven him for not being there, but I have not forgotten the stuff that he has put me through as far as the lies, as far as, you know, not introducing me to all of his family, um, not being consistent, you know, which brings me to another thing. Um, guys, consistency is key. If you cannot be consistent, I don't feel like you need to do, you don't need to do it at all. You, the communication is consistent. The communication has to be consistent. The respect level has to be consistent, right? So in these 27 years, 
we rarely tell each other happy birthday. Uh, we rarely, t we don't, I don't tell him happy Father's Day because he's not my father. He's not my dad. He's not the one that raised me up and brought me into a family that gives nothing but love and appreciation to have me around and, and, and vice versa for me to love them too. Okay. Um, so, you know, I call him by his name. That is his name. And all these years, uh, when it comes to my kids, my kids have met him one time. Um, he decided not to come to uh, the hospital either time um, after the kid's birth or attempt to give a gift or anything of that nature. Um, do I tell my kids about him? No. The only thing that I've told my kids about him is that, you know, what type of so-called parents he thinks he is and it's not that, okay? Uh, my kids are six, almost six, and almost ten. Um, they deserve to know that this person is not what they think. Um, you know, it's almost like he's embarrassed as well to say he's a grandfather. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's the type of for forgiveness that I'm given at the moment. Um, my brother, my oldest, the oldest boy is... <laughs> three months younger than I am. So I was born in February 1994. He was born in March. I'm sorry. He was born in May 1994 by a different woman, of course. And, you know, there's no problems, no issues. It's just, he's always put him on a pedestal before, you know, trying to fix the communication and the relationship with me. Um, it is a powerful place to forgive someone and I feel like since I've forgiven and I've forgotten and I've, you know, kind of like pushed him into a, a corner wall that my heart is free of problems when it comes to him. And I feel that, I feel that I, you know, feel like I'm a much better person because I'm able to say I don't want any parts of it. I don't ever want to try to fix it. Like we could never go to Dr. Phil. We never could go to um, a therapist or anything because I feel like I wouldn't talk at this point. Um, you know, I should have been. I should have been shown the the respect level um, as a daughter for him to say the reasons why he couldn't or he wouldn't step in and take care of his responsibilities um and it's crazy because uh apparently in virginia you know it was just it was just like a who cares type of thing um 40 dollars a month for a baby in 1990 was ridiculous you can keep that little chump change and i think that i'm glad it's changed over time because if i was only getting 40 dollars in child support what is that that's gas that is gas. That's stupid. So I'm 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 in a place where forgiving is amazing and it does feel it does feel good. It does feel powerful. It feels peaceful. Now I'm leaving you guys with the floor open today to say, are you just like me? Are you are you one to hold on to something for a long time? Because it's not an easy journey to get to where you can forgive someone. And, you know, we sit back and we realize it is a, it is such a powerful place. And it does free you because you don't have to worry about it anymore. So today's Motivational Monday, I felt it. I felt it and I felt like I had to share with you guys. So, you know, I hope that anyone else out there that's feeling the same way I do or going through anything, you know, that can relate to, you know, it not being an easy journey of forgiving people. But once you do, it feels so powerful. It feels like a brand new door is opened for you.